Welcome to my channel, oh, to my channel. Maybe from this video you want to follow or leave a like, you would comment and subscribe. Don't be shy, I'll tell you what I like. Hey guys, it's Julie. I just want to start the video by saying. <laughs> Today we're going to be doing a very exciting video. If you can't tell from the makeup, we are going to be doing a little bit of a Halloween look. A little bit of illusion. Girl has been on her Halloween game, okay? And I'm just like popping makeup looks left and right. So if y'all are ready to see this one, keep on watching. Hey guys, so we're here to do the eye portion of this look. So this is how it came out. I'll link um, where I got the eye look from and like where I got the design from as well down in the description in case you want to know because I did not come up with this. I can't take credit. The only thing I can take credit for is that in the corner. <laughs> so first off, we're going to prime the eyelids. So I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Porcelain. And we're just going to prime the eyes. Okay, the girl creamed her hands because... It was ashy. Okay, so I used a couple palettes. So the first palette I went into was the Roxy Rock Source palette, the shade Twilight. And I'm just gonna take a packing brush and we're just gonna start packing it in like a oval shape. So I'm going from here. And I'm just packing it on to get the most pigment. When I swipe that's more for like diffusing things or like if it's a shimmer so just pack either one and now um, I'm just going to start circular motions to just diffuse the outer part so I don't want to do it too much Alright, so then I went into the Sweet Like Candy Makeup Obsession Palette. I'm sorry if it's this. It's dirty. I'm sorry for the glitter. It, it's from, I bought like pressed glitters and it's just everywhere. Okay, so I went into the shade Sweet Tooth first. I'm going to use the same brush. I'm just going to like dust it off like that. And then we're just going to do circular motions because we want to diffuse the outer part even more. Um, don't worry about going too high because honestly the illusion is going to cover your eyebrows so it's okay if it touches the eye look then it'll look more seamless All right so then I went into the shade candy floss and I'm just going to put that above what I did with the other shade Again, it's okay if it touches your eyebrow. And I'm gonna go back into Sweet Tooth. And just, so I'm gonna fix the blend between the colors until I like it, and then I will be right back. All right guys, so this is what it's looking like. I went back in with the first shade we used to deepen the crease, but we're gonna deepen it even more. So the next palette I went into was the Spotlight You Can Be palette. And I went into, first I went into the black shade. And we're just gonna pop that in the crease. And I just try to get it below the twilight, but if it touches the twilight, it's okay. And then in the crease. You don't have to worry about blending right now. It's just about like getting the pigment. So then I take a little bit of a bigger brush and I'm just going to start circular motions to blend out the black. Don't worry about it looking crazy right now. We're going into other shades as well. So next in the Spotlight palette, I went into, I mixed this shade and that shade to make it a dark blue purpley shade right and then i'm just gonna go on top of the black to kind of make 
it a dark blue or dark purple hybrid and this way the blend will look a little better instead of that harsh black all right so this is what the blend is looking like i just kept going back and forth into the color so now we're going to cut that crease so i have this brush that i got in a pack from i think it was rainbow um so i'm going to use the p louise dupe that i got off of amazon i'll link it below if you want to get the pack it came with like six colors i'm just going to put it on the back of my hand and coat both sides and i i try this today but normally i just swipe but I'm gonna try to stamp it. And you're just making a rounded shape. Okay. So it doesn't matter that you put a lot because I just put a lot, but you're just gonna pat the rest of the access onto the lid. The cool thing about these are that it's a sticky base. So any powdery shadows that you have will stick better instead of swiping away once you like keep opening and closing your eyes. I don't know if you guys get that, but I get that a lot. This type of flat brush, flat, packing brush i'm gonna take the you can be fruit punch palette and i'm gonna go into this shade right here so for this shade it's this one of those powdery shades so i just have to like dig a little bit but once you dig you get the pigment that you want so it's it's it's, it's a work in progress so now i'm just going to pat the color on So still using the palette, I'm going to go into these two shades right here and just mix them together. I'm just going to pop this on the side. And I'm going to take it pretty far in, just leaving a good amount on both sides. I don't have like a specific amount of space I'm going to leave, but I just like wing it I guess and if you take it too far in and you want like a little more blue you can always just go back in with the um, light blue and just pat it back farther out if you want it just depends on what you want how much of the color you want to show so next I do a little bit of a mix so I go into the UK spotlight palette again and I'm gonna go into that deep blue shade and then I'm gonna go into the Roxy palette and go into blue lagoon and just mix those and put that on the outer part. All right, guys, so this is what it's looking like. So lastly, I went into the Fruit Punch palette again, and I went into this shade right here. And I'm just going to, I think I used my finger. So I'm just gonna pat it and just pat that color in the middle. All right, so lastly, for the inner corner, I used the Roaring Twenties Neon palette. And I'm going into the shade uh, Featured first. And I'm going to take this like pencil brush and we're just going to pop that into the inner corner. I'm going to go into the shade Gilded right next to it. It has like purple and green reflexes and we're just going to pop that on top so that it's a little brighter. Are you subscribed? If you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Press that notification bell to be notified every time that I post. Because if you like this look, you might like my other look. All right, guys. So for the illusion, I have my P. Louise base again for the blue part. I use the NYX Professional Makeup in the shade black. Okay. So I decided to use a brush like this just so I can get as, as precise a line as I can get it. I didn't, that wasn't English, but 
I bleached my eyebrows so I don't really need to do like the covering but if you want to know how to cover it I have a video of me doing nightmares before Christmas I show you how to cover your brows so definitely go check out that video I'll link it up above um, if you want to go check that out or I'll leave at the end the playlist for all my Halloween looks so self promo <laughs> But uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna coat the brush. Look, there's a then based on where your forehead is, like a line like this, and then like a line here. Okay, so basically what I did was, I did a upside down U, fill that part out. Obviously, you could do a little bit smaller. Okay, and then do a little bit of this. And then once you get to like right here, you're going to not make it as high. You're going to make it a little bit lower and then a little more rounder. So like. And I'm gonna do that to the other side and then I'm gonna do that on the bottom as well all right guys so this was looking like uh, I just want to show you how I do the bottom one um, I recommend if you're doing this part to listen to music I'm listening to an audiobook actually too so yeah cuz this part is a little tedious it kind of looks like a Catwoman mask or something or a Batman mask or something you know but um, once you get to this part, you just make another one of those U shapes. Cause that's the part that's gonna get filled in. And just fill it in. And for this part, you just make, so it's just squigglies. Then I do another one of these. Boom. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. So let me get another one of these so that we can do the mint blue color so now I'm gonna try to be neat okay so I'm just gonna do that with the same thing I showed you guys six times on both ends and then we can do the side detailing hello i'm back i have a little bit on we still have a little bit to go i think we have like two more rows to go i just wanted to do the last two on camera because for this one it's just supposed to be these amount and that's it and now you're just gonna keep doing you're just gonna connect them like this boom boom and that one you could keep doing all the way around. But I'm going to speed it up so you can see what it looks like in case you want to do it.
right guys, so we're almost done. So I thought why not put a little highlight. So we're gonna use the Revolution Precious Stone Rose Quartz Palette, just like this. We're just gonna go into the shade right here. I'm just gonna boop my nose. Go on the bridge. All right guys, so this is how it came out. Um, I added some lashes and I added some little gem things. Um, I got them in a pack from Amazon, I'll link it below. Um, for the lips, use the Nika K New York um, lipstick in the shade 07. It's just, it's just straight up black. Oh, I broke this, but it's kind of still okay. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And press the notification bell to be notified every time that I post. Let's talk about the subscribe button. And if you like to see my lovely face, I post Tuesdays and Saturdays. I try to. See you in my next video. Bye.